So like I was saying, that um, I want, I have right here, right now, I have the lag screws, I have a countersink, I have my Forstner bit, I have a screw gun with the setting where I can go ahead and put a socket on it and drive my, screw, my lag screws in. Now what I want to do is, is like I said, I had measured in one inch in and from the center on these, what I want to do is just drill a pilot hole on this, on that side, on that side. Now that I've drilled a pilot all the way through, what I want to do is, is I want to take this bit out, grab my Forster bit, okay? Now on the bottom, the back side, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just recess just, this just enough where the lag screw head is buried below the surface. That way it won't tear up the mat or anything like that on the gymnastic floor. Okay, so now that that's done, this piece I'm just going to set off to the side. Now these have to be the angles that go on the leg here to add its support to the left and right side. So essentially on this one, it's t the same type of thing where I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drill this in a slight angle just to get it started, just for my Forster bit, register in. And on these, I'm sorry, I didn't show you, but what I did was is I measured from the side in, in an inch and a half, and then down from the edge in one inch. So I did that with, on all four of the corners, okay? So now what I want to do is I want to go ahead, grab my Forster bit again. Recess that enough just for the lag screw. a bit out. We got a regular drill bit in. I'm just using a 3 16 drill bit to go ahead and drill this out. see on here exactly where these recesses are and where the holes are so that way now I can go ahead and place this here and then I can place these here so that way I can make this 90 degrees and it holds it nice and firm okay so the first step here is I place this on here I grab my two leg screws I place them here I have my screw gun here, and I have this bit here. I want to show you just exactly how this is going to look. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to place this piece here. That way you get your 90 degrees and then there'll be one on the left and the right side. Now we'll be checking this to make sure it is square so that way everything's fine, okay? Sorry about that. 
Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this is flush and it ends. I'm going to drill a little bit of a pilot hole. Holding this flush in the end. Take this and place this here. I'm going to grab two lag screws. Just enough to make it snug. Tri square in the place here, and this is beautiful. Let me take you over so you can see this. That's exactly what we want. Got a 90 degrees, so this should be kind of nice to go ahead and set up. That way, we know everything's gonna be secured. We don't want this to be out of square, it's a balance beam, right? It should be 90. So, I'm gonna go ahead and place this right on the angle of this cut at. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pilot. one just a little bit. Grab my screw gun. One thing you don't want to do is over tighten anything here because you will split this piece right in half. sure you drill pilots. Um, this will ensure that you don't, or will help ensure that you don't split the piece. bring you over here just so you can see that this is done so you can see that this is set up all right it's nice and tight and we still have it at 90 degrees. That's good. So now I can go ahead and do the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off. As you can see, I started and have that side done as well. It's at 90. What I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and I'll bring you back. As soon as I'm done, once I'm done with all four of these, I'm gonna bring you back as soon as this is dry. But I don't think that 
you're going to want to watch this being repeated over and over and over again all the time because you've already seen it, right? So I'm Mr. C. I'm in the wood shop. And remember, we're going ahead. We're going to make this nice balance beam for one of my uh, colleagues' kids. This is just something kind of fun that we can do relatively quick here in the shop. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.